Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Martina and today we are continuing to work on our From Trash to Treasure junk journal, which is this this journal and yesterday in yesterday's video we actually made a signature for our journal and we bound uh, bound it we we sewed it into the cover using a three hole pamphlet stitch so if you'd like to catch up on this the whole playlist is in the description box for you to check out so we have quite a lot we have a an awesome flip here we have our pages we have this little element uh, which is a tag within a tag so it just a tag with a pocket and another tag in the pocket and we have all of those fun pages really nice for journaling for sticking photos then we made this envelope yesterday and the envelope is from my kid the butterfly is from um from uh, the freebie that i uh, gave that i offer offered that i well, that you guys can download, I can't speak today, that you guys can download from, I think two videos ago, I will leave it, leave the link to this video below and it opens like this. We just uh, added some beautiful wallpaper from Lorna, tailored made journals inside and this is how it looks on this side. Uh, so this is just clipped here and yeah, we just have all of those fun pages so today I thought it would be fun to make some more ephemera and of course we are doing this you know from trash to treasure project so I have some more trashy elements junk <laughs> uh, that we are going to use to, uh, to make our ephemera pieces so yeah and we have our end page on this side okay let's put this aside and let's see what we have so i have those few pieces i've showed uh, them to you guys in um i think maybe two or three videos ago so this is the part that we cut off from the cover when we made the window and it would it just it's a nice and sturdy piece of the Amazon envelope, so it would make a nice journaling card, I believe. And then I have those flaps from the Mercy box that we used to make the fold out on the uh, on the cover, inside cover. And I thought I would like to make some nice like page decorations, and this could be the base. So somewhat similar to what we did with those scrappy belly bands in the previous uh, Trash to Treasure uh, project, which was the ephemera folio, by the way. The flip through for this one is coming. I'm so sorry, I've had it filmed for, a while, for like, I don't know, a week and a half and I just didn't get to editing it. But we made an ephemera folio and maybe you guys remember that we did some scrappy belly bands and this time I would like to kind of do a similar thing but um, use them as either tag spots or just page decoration so we will see okay so how about we start maybe with uh, with the journal card and I'm actually thinking maybe I want to use this paper so these are the the ones that I printed uh, one-sided and I think I'm just going to go with my double-sided tape stick it right to the uh, to the page and then we will see where to go from there so I'm using double-sided tape because I am not going to stitch <laughs> if you know me you know I like my machine stitching but in this project I'm actually enjoying not stitching at all uh, and I like the I like the look of the things that we are making so it's a nice change you know it's a I like to change things I like to challenge myself <laughs> so I hope you you are enjoying this with me as well <laughs> okay so I think I think I am going to add a little bit of a glue where, you know, where I don't have the double-sided tape on the edges. Just a little bit to 
to make sure it will be it will be in place you know where i want it and okay now i'm sticking it and we will do something with the other side of course as well so first again what i often do with my collaging is i am just creating a base for my collage and uh, the easiest the quickest also way to do it is just stick a piece of pretty paper onto the whole surface that you are then going to collage over and then we will go with some scraps of papers uh, to create layers layers of interest to the background okay And like this. Let's see what we have here. Yeah, I love it. I don't know. I mean, it looks like I don't want to do anything to it. Oh, love it. Okay, so how about how about we just leave this the way it is? And this will be the journaling part, and then we collage this part. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Change of plans, change of vision. Uh, so I'm going to take a paper that's maybe plainer, so I don't have the same problem. So on this side, I'm just going to stick, to stick, 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 <laughs> uh, the one of the uh, one of the background pages from the blissful bird kits if you're if you're new here um, we are using my blissful birds kit for this project it's still on sale all of my kits are still on sale when this video goes up um, I set the sale to go uh, through like to the end of Wednesday uh, but I'm not sure you know I, I'm pretty um, I kind of think that these the sale will end when Wednesday ends here in Poland <laughs> so it might be like afternoon for you guys in in America okay and then again just a little bit of wet glue I don't want to uh, add too much not to warp you know my uh, my paper but just a little bit to kind of um, to make sure it's stuck down all the way through oh this is pretty i really like it i really like cutting just parts of of the design you know and it gives you such a different look so you see a page you know guys as i always say don't be afraid of using digitals not in the way that they were designed to be used because of course we cut a page which was pretty much designed to be a journal page you know you'd fold it in half bind it in your signature and stuff like that but uh, now we just cut a random pretty random piece where i just wanted the eggs and we have a beautiful piece and it's like completely different and with digitals you're just you're so you're free to do it you know because you can always print them again you don't have to buy them again and yet you can print them again so that's that's awesome okay uh do i have any scraps here i have this i have a scrap of this a scrap of a book page anything else i have some postage stamps just in case i want to use them so yes like i said i just added uh, the sort of the main piece of the background so that you know if you are intimidated by a blank page or a blank surface do this do do this do, just glue something on it uh, and it will take the blankness of the page away and it won't feel as intimidating because I do get that sometimes oops what am I doing why am I trying to ink with archival ink okay where is my vintage photo here it is 
I do understand that sometimes a blank page can really be well scary, you know, you don't know where to start. It's too much of space. You don't know what to do with it. That's normal. That's absolutely normal. I feel like this as well. I did have a few videos in um, like how to break a blank page uh, series. So you can, you can search them on my channel if you're interested in in sort of other ways to to break the blank page, to remove the blankness, to make it less intimidating. I hope you are all, all right. I hope you guys are, are safe, are well. We are having a lot of snow these days in Poland. So that's nice because we've had a couple of days where the, all the snow melted because it was like maybe one Celsius degree, you know, one or two below zero. And it was, it wasn't warm enough uh, to be nice <laughs> and it wasn't cold enough for the snow to, uh, to stay. So it, all the snow melted away. And the days were just so gloomy and so ugly, like I had to go to the post office and unfortunately my post office is quite far away from where I live, which I'm actually surprised about, but it is what it is. So we, we just, we went for a walk with my boyfriend and I think it was yesterday or the day before. And uh, I was just so, I don't know, so struck by how ugly everything was. And I always, like, whenever I walk anywhere, I always try to find something that I can admire, something beautiful. And guys, I failed. I, I could not see anything beautiful, I don't know. And it's not my mood, I was in rather a good mood that day, so it's not that I was feeling unwell or something like this. But it was just, everything was just so ugly. Uh, I'm just looking here to see, oh, I have this and I think I want to use this as well. So, um, everything was very grey, you know, so the day was grey. And the streets were full of this grayish pulp of snow, really not attractive. And uh, and um, the, the buildings that we were passing by, they were so gray too. Like everything was just so great. And if you know me, you know I love my colors. <laughs> so, so yeah, gray is not... Like, I think those grey days can be beautiful. It's just this one wasn't. I just took another piece of this paper, of the music paper. It may be partly um, due to the fact, you know, that I don't really like living in the city and um, I just, I would love to live closer to nature. I think, yeah, I think that's, that's it. I think the grey days, uh, the gloomy days can be beautiful, but in nature, not in, in a city. Well, if it's a beautiful city, then I guess so, but well, this neighborhood here is not so so beautiful. So I, I, I think I would enjoy rainy days, gloomy days, everything like this, if I was uh, surrounded by nature and I could just look outside my window and just, I don't know. 
and uh, sorry guys for <laughs> for um, those strange reflections <laughs> I just yeah I just I hope one day I will be able to live near near rare nearer nature than I am now I would love that I I'm not sure how my boyfriend will feel about it because he was raised in the countryside and he spent most of his life there and it's hard you know it's hard living in the countryside it's a hard life a lot of physical work and I know it and that's not what I want um, I mean I, I am not um, I am not like hmm, how would I say it it's not that I believe that living in the countryside is just beautiful nature and that's it. No, I know it's hard. So what I would like is I would like to live closer to nature, but kind of close to the city as well, because like it or not, I have always lived in the city and I kind of I'm, I'm used to the comfort of living near the city. So if I lived near nature, but like a half an hour drive to a bigger city, then I think I would be content. I don't know about my boyfriend though, because he doesn't drive really. Uh, he has a license, but he never like, really needed to drive. So uh, he relies on public transportation. Normally, of course, not now in the pandemic, but normally he does. and. I don't know, he would have to probably get a car if we lived uh, half an hour from, from a city. But yeah, I can't imagine spending my life like settling down, or that's, that's what I'm trying to say. I can't imagine settling down and building a home in a place like this, you know, in the city. It has a lot of perks, it has a lot of good sides, but I just, no, I just, not really. <laughs> yeah, I need to hear the wind in the trees, I need to hear the bird chirping and singing. I just, I need to be able to breathe and I feel like I can't do it in a city. Okay, so I like what we have. We have a nice vintage background with this uh, pink there. And now for the focal point, I have this bird. Do I want to use him or... Well, he would actually fit here quite nicely, don't you think, guys? So let me maybe... Well, you know what's coming, probably. <laughs> my, uh, my gold leaf trim. Let me add it like as a part of the background and uh, this bird, if you don't remember, this was fussy cut from one of the journaling tags, the big tags that come in, in the add-on kit and um, we did it in I think the first episode of this series when we were trying to figure out which image we want on the journal cover and we just settled for the bigger one so I have this this one and it's a nice size for a journaling card I believe so I'm, I'm adding this gold leaf tr leaf trim maybe in just a couple of places you know here and uh, there and uh, I'm adding it before I add the bird to make it part of the background and yeah oh this is so cute this is so cute so i've had so many comments from you guys saying that you are now as obsessed over gold or this leaf trim or gilding the edges as i am and i thought it was so cute um yeah if you've watched some of my my previous videos and you know that yep I am obsessed over gold 
uh, over gold splatters too. Well, maybe we'll add some splatters. The gold leaf trim, the gold wax for gilding the edges, all the stuff. Okay. Yeah, but on a more positive note, by the way, <laughs> so I don't end this um, this topic with you know with the with saying that everything was ugly and that's it. We have a beautiful day today, and. Today I'm going to take another walk to the post office. I have a few packages to pick up and I'm excited about it because it's basically, it's almost cloudless and the snow, it's funny because there are no clouds or almost no clouds, but the snow is snowing. <laughs> um, so I don't know where it's coming from really, if not from, from clouds. Um, but yeah, it seems like a beautiful day, so it won't be hard to see beauty today when we walk. Okay, so we have this and now I'm thinking maybe let me do uh, just some inking and I also now that I mentioned the gilding the edges, I think I am going to do it as well. So I will do it on both sides and I'm thinking what else to add here. Of course, we don't have to add anything else, but I'm just wondering, maybe I would like to add, I have a lot of bird charms uh, because I was thinking one day I would like to make a bird journal collection. So uh, I got some charms and I would maybe like to use one of those here in the corner, something like this. We will see. I like adding eyelets to my um, to my Well, I lost my thought. I like adding, adding eyelets to my journaling cards and then uh, adding some, some kind of charm or, or maybe a piece of a ribbon. So let me do the gold edges on the other side as well. The side for journaling. Of course, as per usual, gold is everywhere <laughs> and that's fine okay like that mm -hmm. so ooh, instantly so much prettier for me <laughs> Um, so yes, so I think I am going to just go for it and I'm going to take my crocodile and punch a hole here in the corner and add an eyelet here. So this time I'm thinking I'm going to use my flower eyelet and this one, oops, this one is from AliExpress from China and also a just a ball pin. It's like a safety pin, just in this bulb um, uh, shape. So now, and unfortunately this eye, these eyelets are slightly bigger than the bigger hole that I have in my crocodile. So I have to use a little bit of force to put it through, but when it's in you know like this i just really like how it looks okay so now for the charm and uh, the charm so let me let me see here so i want something quite small i love to swallow uh, i have a few of these actually but i also have the smaller one so maybe Maybe the smaller one actually. And 
with my charms I also like to use some small beads so here is just a few beads that I have and let me see if they are not too like too small no they go through very very nice very comfortably so I'm just going to use maybe this maybe the pink one Mm -hmm. just like that and then and then like this yep mm -hmm. and I can actually can I turn it no not really so this is going to be oh come on bead come on <laughs> I need to push this bead to the other side I don't know what it's doing here okay <laughs> so here we go we have our eyelet we have our beads it just adds you know it's it, it just adds like a little element that you can touch and um, just a nice decoration really so but this Bobbin. Oh, I'm struggling with it a little bit as you can see. Yeah, but this should be like this. I really like it. And um, I think we can maybe leave it like that. Although I am wondering if I would maybe like to add some of those pearls or sequins that I've been using for other elements that we did here in this in this collection oops excuse me for reaching okay i think maybe something like this and yeah somewhere here and then just a couple of those pearls just add some texture some some more color blue one okay maybe just like that sorry guys <laughs> i think i think you can see i really like it all righty now uh, now I think we can find a place for it in our journal let me clip it and I think I would like to make a pocket for it so let me see if I can use one one of the pockets from the kit will it be a good size yeah you can see it will fit perfectly so I have these but I also have some other ones and well we don't have to use pockets of course we can we could also use journaling cards as pockets but I think I want to use this one because it has a bird's nest with beautiful flowers pink flowers and then we have a pink flower here so i just think it it may match nicely so i'm going to quickly cut it and these pockets and journaling cards are in the add-on uh, kit of the blissful birds collection sort of these large scissors they're so comfortable to use and to uh, you can cut things out so quickly yeah I think it looks okay so those lines of inking they show you where to 
fold the flaps just a little you know tip and I'm not doing a great job folding them I should probably make it more like on a flat surface uh -huh. and because we have those flaps uh, our pocket will be more hmm, expandable spacious it will, you will be able to put something more bulky in the region than just a piece of paper okay so where would i want it here maybe this will work nicely with, with this or we could or we could actually use a book page hmm why not but maybe what's what's on the other side of this book page we have a page like this which would work nice and that's we should have one more or not <laughs> let's see i think that's oh no we have one here yeah how about that i think it will look just so pretty <laughs> okay now i'm going to use double-sided tape because this book page um if i can find it where is the the double-sided tape that i was just using a moment ago honestly a moment ago all righty um Sorry guys. <laughs> okay, let me use this one instead. So I think I was saying something. Oh yes, I'm using double-sided tape instead of wet glue because um, this book page is vintage and it's quite thin so I don't want it to um, you know warp. I don't want the glue to sip through the other side and double-sided tape will just work perfectly here mm -hmm. this all right team now this side or you know what guys i think i kind of prefer this because we have pinks here too so we will just move this somewhere else so that we can like space out our ephemera a bit uh, in this journal okay It's a nice way to use those book pages if you have no um, ideas what to do with them. You can just stick a pocket and it makes a pretty background. It is, of course, a bird book page, a vintage bird book page. So it's really nice. And here is our card. And this is such a spacious pocket. I really like it. Okay. Really pretty. So, uh, I think we could add something to jazz up this little pocket. And of course, the, the first thing that comes to my mind is the gold leaf trim. So I'm just going to go for it, you know. Just go for it. I'm also thinking, do I want like a little label? But I'm not sure. Alrighty. And like this. <laughs> it's 
such a little thing and adds so much, I would say. Really, I'm, I'm really, really <laughs> loving it. Do I want maybe... Maybe I would actually want, you know, kind of the same little cluster as here so that these two would go together. So I'm going to take this sequin and these holographic sequins are so gorgeous. <laughs> so gorgeous. Where do I want it? Here maybe. Uh, my glue. And the pearls. This time I could use maybe a bigger one from the blue ones. Hmm, and it's not sticky at all. So I'm going to add a dot of glue. I think it's too much glue, but that's okay. It dries clear, of course, so you won't be able to see it at all. And uh, and a pink one, maybe this this size. I really like these pearls, but there's something wrong with like their stickiness. Um, they are adhesive, but the adhes adhesive stays on the on the plastic sheet, which is certainly not what should happen here. Okay, yeah. So cute. All right, guys. So I think that's it for today. <laughs> Just a short process. I think it's shorter than than what I usually do uh, here on my channel. But you know, I am like I said to you guys. I have this crazy week where I am just working on finishing four journals and I also have three corporate days uh, including today so uh, just a shorter video I still wanted so much to craft I'm enjoying this project so much and I wanted to share something with you some little inspiration for today so thank you so much for crafting with me I will stick it I will uh, clip it uh, to some other page in in this book but yeah I, I really like it it's so sweet I think <laughs> so thank you so much for spending your day your day your time with me this hour or or 40 minutes and um, I will talk to you very very soon which will probably be again tomorrow <laughs> with another shorter um, process video so thank you have a wonderful day and bye